In this video tutorial, we'll discuss how to navigate within a Soundblade LE project window. In Sonic Studio's Soundblade LE workstation, there are many tools for quickly moving around inside of the project window. This presentation covers scrolling and zooming, both in general and on selections. So first, we're going to talk about scrolling. If you are zoomed out all the way in a project window using the E key, the entire project and all waveforms in your project will be displayed. And inversely, you can return to a previous selection using the Command and P key combo. So you can zoom to the entire project window using the E key and return to a previous selection using the Command plus P key. Here, we're not zoomed out entirely, so some of the waveforms are invisible because they are off the right edge of our pane here. You can move the window to the left or to the right by moving the scroll bar at the bottom of the waveform display. That's the little blue slider here, and as we move to the right or to the left, you notice that the waveform display follows the movement of the cursor. You can also move the window view left and right using the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard. So if we hit the right arrow key here a couple of times, we're moving to the right or down the timeline of the project. If we hit the left arrow here, we move upstream in the audio or to the left in the project window. Finally, you can drag the entire view of the waveforms to the left or to the right manually by simultaneously holding down the Control, Option, and Apple or Command key. Where you click in the project window with this hand allows you to quickly move to the left or to the right all the way down multiple times here, or back to the right just by clicking and holding. Wherever you release your mouse is where the picture stays. So let's talk about zooming. Let's hit the E key to zoom to the entire project. And using the down arrow key, we navigate to the middle of the display window. And using the up key, we navigate outwards from the center of the window. Hitting the E key again, we zoom to our entire project. As you zoom in and out, it's likely you'll want to keep this edit point in view. To do this, hold down the Apple or Command key as you use the up or down arrow keys. This will keep the edit point centered in the middle of the display so you can zoom to a location that you've targeted with the edit point. Let's talk about zooming to selections. Clicking and dragging on the waveform itself selects a region. So we're clicking and dragging across the selection, holding down the mouse key, and as soon as we let go, our segment selection stops. Clicking and dragging makes a highlighted yellow-orange area. If we go to the View menu and select Zoom to Selection, you'll see that Premaster CD zooms the view to the selection you just made. Also, you can quickly zoom to a selection by making it, holding down the Command key, and hitting G on the keyboard. There's also a little faster method for this, where if you click and drag across the selection, but before you let go, hold down the Command key and the Option key, Soundblade LE automatically zooms to that selection as soon as you let go of the mouse. Let's zoom back out here a couple of layers by using the Command P key, zoom to previous. See section 3.7 for more information on region selection. You can also use a song selection as your target for a zoom. Selecting a sound file and then hitting the Command G zooms you into that sound file. Let's make one more selection here using the click-drag method and zoom into that selection using the Command G keys. Let's say that we wanted to simply modify this section of our selection. Uh, we can do that by holding down the Shift key, but there's also an extra added level of zoom within Soundblade LE that allows you to zoom into a selection one more level. If you click and drag in the black timeline banner above the top panel while holding down the Command key, 
The panel will zoom to display the region of the time that you clicked and dragged to find. This is really useful if you need to just zoom into the beginning of a selection and modify it slightly. So now that we're zoomed in tight, we hold down the Shift key and we're allowed to move this in point here to a specific point in time. If we hit Command G to zoom to our selection, we can also use this sub zoom method by holding down the Command key, clicking and dragging across the end of this selection, and we can quickly modify the end of this selection by holding down the Shift key and bringing it to a specific point in time without disturbing the edit points in between it. So let's review what we've discussed in this presentation. How to scroll to the left and right in a Soundblade LE project using the scroll bar, left and right arrow keys, plus the hand command. More on scrolling can be found in section 3.2 and 3.6 of the Soundblade LE user manual. How to zoom using the up and down arrow keys, using the E key to zoom to the entire project, zooming around an edit point, zooming to a selection, and zooming to a time selection. More on zooming can be found in section 3.6 of the Soundblade LE user manual. If any questions arise about how to use Sonic Studio's Soundblade LE product, please feel free to contact us at support at sonicstudio.com. You can also visit our website at www.sonicstudio.com.